Welcome back. Well, it is back to school season, and when it comes to studying science and technology, the gender gap is widening. Studies show men significantly outnumber women in these fields, but there is a growing movement to encourage more women to sign up. Joining me tonight is Professor Deb Besser. She is the chair of the Civil Engineering Program at the University of St. Thomas. Deb, thanks so much for being here. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Why would you say this is so important to the workforce to encourage women to pursue science and technology? Well, in broad general terms, women have a, they bring a different perspective. Uh, they approach their work perhaps just a, a little bit differently. We know in general, women like to take a collaborative approach to uh, their work. And for engineering, that is, uh, that's, a, that's a tremendous bonus. Uh, Engineers are really just problem solvers, and problems are best solved when you have a group of people working together with different ideas to solve that problem. And we've really heard about this uh, gender gap for years, but why is this happening? Is there something specifically we can blame it on? Yeah, so there's not just one reason, but I think there's a, a couple of components that we can point to. One is just the culture and looking at our workplace culture and how are we providing an inclusive uh, and, and supportive environment for our women who are in, in STEM or science, technology, engineering, math. Another component is that we need to think about, well, perhaps signals that we're sending our young women. There might be biases that we're not even aware of and our, our young women are picking up on those biases about what we should or what they should be going into as, as far as a career. Um, and we need to make sure that we're, we're not sending signals that women shouldn't be going into engineering. Sometimes you said that parents might be passing these things on and, and not even knowing it. Maybe if your kid is frustrated and then they think, you know, I'm not good at this. Um, I'll, I'll do something else, yeah. but really instead working through that right. uh, to get better. And, and another component is uh, sometimes, well, like at middle school, girls will try to fit in. And so they mm. won't, uh, you know, they may be very good at math and science, but they're kind of afraid to show that. So, um, you know, we need to make it okay for them to really pursue their interest. And yeah, on that note, what can we do to encourage more women to go into these fields? Oh, there's a number of things that we can do. So for young women, we can provide opportunities where it's okay for them to enjoy the math and science that they enjoy. So at University of St. Thomas, we've had our STEPS program, which is a summer program in the School of Engineering for seventh and ninth grade girls. Uh, we've had that for the last 18 years. We know that experiences like that actually encourage women to go into uh, engineering and the STEM disciplines. And yeah, just to, to recap those three points, providing experiences, creating a positive culture, and changing the conversation. All good takeaways uh, to, to be talking about, especially as we all head back to school. It's that time of year. Thank you, Deb. Thanks so much for being here tonight. Thanks so much.